What's going on, God? This is the Fitness Preacher here. God qualified, not men. Let's pray. Father, I thank you. You've seen what's going on this morning. You've seen me just constantly trying to log in, couldn't log in, couldn't log in. But I thank you, Father God, that you have mercy. I'll be honest, I was frustrated. I'll be honest, I wasn't talking like a man of God. But I thank you that I'm here now. I ask you to have your way. Holy Spirit, give you free reign. Speak through me, Holy Spirit, in Jesus' name. Amen. All right, guys, let's go right into this. All right, so we're going to start off just with the uh, reading first. Let's read and meditate to Philippians chapter 4, verse 19. Philippians chapter 4, verse 19. And my God will meet all your needs according to his riches and glories in Christ Jesus. Philippians chapter 4, verse 19. And my God will meet all your needs according to the riches of his glory in Christ Jesus. Let's pray. I thank you, Father God, that you see what's going on with the world. You see all the needs that people need. I thank you, Father God, that they need their needs met. They got to go to the source. You, Father God, help me and help us go to you every day to get our needs, get our needs met. Realize that you never change, that you're the God of the galaxy. So we'd actually have you wait in Jesus' name. Amen. Repeat this affirmation out loud on your breath. God will completely meet all my needs. 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 Read Deuteronomy chapter 31 verse 6. Deuteronomy chapter 31 verse 6. Chapter 31, verse 6. Be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid or terrified because of them. For the Lord your God goes with you, and he will never leave you nor forsake you. Let's read that again. Be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid or terrified because of them. For the Lord your God goes with you, and he will never leave you nor forsake you. Let's pray. Father God. Thank you, Father God, that you never leave us nor forsake us. Thank you, Father God, that you keep your word. Thank you we could bring you remember your word. We declare Deuteronomy 31 over us today, Father God, that we can walk and be strong and encouraged. We have, help us, Jesus Christ. In Jesus' name, amen. Repeat this affirmation out loud in your breath. I am strong and full of courage. The Lord always goes before me. I am strong and full of courage. The Lord always goes before me. I am strong and full of courage. The Lord always goes before me. Let's keep going, guys. Read 2 Timothy chapter 1, verse 7. 2 Corinthians chapter 1, verse 7. For God has not given us a spirit of fear, but of power and of love and of sound mind. 2 Corinthians chapter 1, verse 7. Let's pray. Father, I thank you, Father God, that we have the spirit of God in us when we accept Christ. And we're born again, Father God. So I thank you, Father God. By faith, we don't have the spirit of fear. We, don't have, we have a spirit of power in the name of Jesus Christ, spirit of love and the spirit of a sound mind. Help me, Father God, walk with a spirit of sound mind. Help me, Father God, walk with self-control today. In Jesus Christ's name, amen. Be this affirmation out loud or under your breath. Through the Holy Spirit, I walk in power, love, and self-discipline. Through the Holy Spirit, I walk in power, love, and self-discipline. Through the Holy Spirit, I walk in power, love, and self-discipline. Let's pray. Father, I thank you for an opportunity just to praise you. I give you this day, holy God. I thank you, Lord Jesus Christ, that you are...